Hello everyone, I'm Genie, and today I'm bringing you guys what I like the most, kind of a meme kind of a meme deck, but it's not really. And I'm talking about Lee Sin with Tarek, right? Lee Sin, Targon, and the real MVP of this video is actually Zenith Blade, right? Because it gives Overwhelm to Lee Sin. I got quite, like, I got, I guess, I got the combo of an OTK with Lee Sin two times in, like, um, three matches, I guess. But one of the matches, I for some reason, it disappeared from my from my computer, so I don't have it for this video, and I'm not really enjoying the game as much. Like, um, so I'm not really gonna be playing to get more, um, you know, off the combo, because I don't know. I, I think I'm getting stressed, maybe. I don't know. So what's the idea behind the deck, fellas? The idea is going for Tarek, right? Um, it's kind of easy to, to level him up because we have um, a mentor of the stones that, you know, um, gets you three gems. Once he dies, he his support ability actually sticks, right? Because it grants plus two plus two. So this guy is actually very good. Um, we have a young witch, which allows us to trade kind of, you know, in a pretty decent way, considering that we have um, Sonic Wave right on the deck then we can pull some units for some favorable trades for us we have solaris shield breaker we have solaris soldier you know to stabilize the early game a little bit and provide us with um, some tempo we have gift giver as well you know to help us with the gem generation which is frankly very 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 important for Leeson, a deep meditation for a card draw, um, a buff for blessing with blessing of Targon, and the rest is just supplementary, right? Um, Bastion, I feel like it's a very important card to have nowadays because everything kills your units um, nowadays or disrupts your play. Like um, Hush is everywhere. Um, there, there is the sunset or, or sunburst, sun, or, sun, 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 some, some something, right? Sunburst um, that you know kills your things as well, like. There are a lot of invoke cards that they get obliterated out of nowhere, so you, you kind of need um, Bastion nowadays. So this is going to be it for the introduction, fellas. As I said, this is going to be a short video and the following ones will probably be short as well, because as I said, I'm not really enjoying the game as this expansion as much. I don't know, it feels like there's too many random things, um, the, the matches are too long, right? I, I don't like the invoke how they implemented it, like, it feels like I'm throwing a dice and seeing if the guy draws something that disrupts my play or not. And I don't know, maybe I'm unlucky, but I'm seeing only Invoke decks or Pilfer Goods decks, so... Pff, um, yeah, it's not feeling so good for me. Or some Rush decks as well, like with um, Lulu, which it's not really interactive um, for most part of the decks that I'm testing so yeah but subscribe for more content um, from me right if you want to see more of me because I'm gonna be uploading more videos that's for sure like the video if you do like the video as well if you do like the deck this is a very fun deck nonetheless even though the meta is bad um, it's as it is right the meta is not really established yet but it's not feeling too good. Um, maybe you want one more Bastion. If you do so, you, you, if you play the deck, you maybe you will want three copies of Bastion because it's being very necessary nowadays. And by the way, we have a Discord channel as well. A lot of fun people there. A lot of interesting people there. If you want to go there and uh, be fun and interesting as well, you might. Link in the description. You just need to be civilized. If you're civilized, you can join. If you're civilized, don't want to join, you don't have to, like, that's your choice, hey? But that's it, guys. Have fun playing the game, enjoy the gameplay, and see ya. Okay, so Zed, Fiora, I wonder why, though. I wonder why. I mean, there has to be a reason why. But I don't, I can't really think of what. I think Will of Iona is not gonna do anything. Like, it might, though, right, against Fiora. So perhaps I should keep it. I guess it's too slow. I need to keep only one Tarek and see what happens. Yeah, okay. Okay, I was kind of afraid of not having a... You know, early gameplay. But that's not gonna be the case. That's pretty interesting. He doesn't have a one drop as well. Which looks pretty interesting indeed. Here I'm passing, like he's gonna attack, I'm gonna have to do this. 
I'm not gonna be drawing, but so be it. I'm gonna be removing a card of his, which is good enough in my opinion. He has one mana. Okay. Alright. I can take the trade. I can take the trade. No problem. No problem. Because apparently I have another one. <laughs> oh boy. He can't play Fiora right now. Alright, you're not gonna be blocking. So, that's fine by me. Alright. I have another one, so that's pretty interesting. I should be going for it, I guess. But... There is the odd of him having a shield. Then I'm gonna get screwed. So I should be going for a defensive buff in that regard. Right? It, it makes the shield a little bit awkward. Like, if he wants to go for the shield, then he still can do it, but... It makes it a little bit awkward, at least. Alright, now I guess you messed up. I gladly take this trade, by the way. I gladly take it. Nice. Pretty good, okay. Nice. Like, if he had a repost there, right? It would make... That play of mine would make it awkward to go for a repost. I'm gonna be going for a Tarek here. Because it's the biggest value that I can go for. Nice! He doesn't have a play, that's awesome. Apparently his deck kind of relies only on Fiora. And now that he lost it... Maybe he doesn't have the pressure anymore. I wonder if that's the case. Okay. Actually being able to put the pressure onto him, that's pretty good. Yeah. As I expected, the deck counts only on Fiora, so why there's a Zed in it? Why is Zed in that deck, I wonder? I mean, I don't I can think of a way of a reason, so. Yeah, good game regardless. <sighs> okay, so we're going against Aggro. I'm keeping this. I'm keeping. Because having Bastion and Lee Sin actually feels pretty good. Because, I mean... Okay. Alright, so I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to be playing this guy. And on the following turn, I'm going to be playing um, Solari. Because, you see, I don't know why he would play that. That's an activator for... That's an activator for... Nightfall, isn't it? I don't know why he would play that. I'm not going to be attacking with this, because he's playing an aggro deck, so... There's no point in me giving him um, good trades, even though he's going to take the trade regardless. No point in me giving it to him for free. Really, you're going to go for another one, so... Okay, that's pretty curious. That is pretty curious. Okay. Alright. That's fine. Okay, I can take that. I can take that. I'm gonna be going like this. Um, this following turn, I'm gonna be playing the young. Right now, actually, I'm gonna be playing the young witch. I'm gonna be dealing three damage to him. Um, it's kind of annoying to go against Di Diana with this deck that I'm going for, but I guess overall I'm, I'm fine. I'm gonna be okay, I guess. All right. I should be okay here. Sadly though, he's gonna flood the board so fast. Alright. Okay. Really, you drew all three. Interesting. Interesting indeed. I don't really have a play, I'm not gonna play anything. I don't really have a play, I'm not, I'm like, forcing here doesn't do anything for me. 
Like holding a little bit to see if I can um, sneak up a kill onto Diana is actually better than going for something that doesn't do anything for me. And if he... Yeah, he's not even gonna try. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. I'm gonna be going for Lee Sin here. I guess there is a possibility that he has um, a way to answer me, but... I'll have to go for Bastion, I guess. I need to kill Diana. I really do. Like, I really need to kill Diana. And this is gonna be the way I'm gonna do it. Like, even Hush doesn't do it for him, right? Diana is dead, pretty much. Unless he has a very good buff, which is possible as well, considering he is playing Targon. I can see that happening. But then again, it would be only a one health buff. Right. All right. So he 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 does have hush, as I expected. All right. Good good thing that I added um, it onto Lee Sin then. Good thing. Cause I would cause I would like to keep Lee Sin alive as much as I can. Right. Losing him with um, two Zenith blades would feel pretty bad. Good news is that he is kind of depleting his resource quite bad, quite badly. And I guess I'm going to be able to survive this, to be honest with you. I guess I will be able to survive this. He's not attacking with his Nightfall units, which is frankly very awkward. At least from my perspective, because he's not leveling up um, Nocturne. Nocturne, I don't know how to pronounce this name, even though it's a very nice card. I like it quite a lot. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I should have enough to survive here for quite a while. Not quite a while, but I'm going to be able to survive here, I guess. <sighs> That's a little bit nasty, though. There's some nastiness in his place. How far am I? I'm pretty far. <laughs> I'm actually very far. Um, <laughs> I'm as further as you can be from leveling, guys. <laughs> That's actually interesting. Um, okay. I'm gonna be doing it like this, then. I can go for a Blessing of Targon if I see fit. Right. I'm gonna be taking a lot of damage here, however. I guess there's no running around that. Right, I'm actually going to be doing it because I need the barrier onto Lee Sin. I guess I'm going to be taking quite a bit of damage here. But I guess this is the best I can do, to be honest, at the moment. Maybe going for a Will of Ionia onto that does the trick. And I guess it does. I'm going to be holding quite a lot of health if I do that. Alright. And even if it decides to, you know, throw something at Lee Sin. Like, it has to be Hush. Even if it's Hush, it doesn't do it for him. Alright, so I managed to stop his onslaught quite a bit with that play. Which is very nice for me. But still, I'm in a pickle, guys. I'm not in a very good spot here. Not in a very... And now I am in a pretty good spot. But I need this guy to survive. I need this guy to survive. Not really survive, but I need to have, you know, more units. Oh, if I could level Lee Sin. Mm, if I could level him up. Just, if I just could level him up. I would be so happy. Now, what I'm going to do here... Is actually making this guy survive feels good because I'm gonna have a blocker for the following turn so I'm gonna be doing this you may call me crazy but I'm gonna be doing this I mean I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit scared of vengeance but I guess this deck doesn't run vengeance hush okay you should hush um, Lee Sin as well if that's gonna be your play Okay. All 
All right, so there's the RNG going on. All right, I guess. Not really, but okay. <laughs> guess we're gonna have to win the same way we did last time. All right, at least I have a blocker now. Ugh, disgusting, okay. That's pretty nasty, that's pretty nasty. But all right. I'll have to block here, I'll have to block here. Should be good enough, I guess. I mean, if it's not, there's not much I can do about that. Nice, okay. Gonna be doing this. I should have enough here to win this, I guess. I should have enough. I mean, he wasted all his hushs, so... I'm gonna be doing this, right? Alright. So far, so good. And we are going for it, lads. We are going for it again. Come on, OTK, please. Go ahead. Tell me you don't have a hush. That's all I ask of you. Just don't have hush. Just don't have hush. That's all, dude. Come on. Come on! Uh, please, dude. Ah, uh, he has it. <laughs> Come on, tell me. Nice. Ah. Oh. <sighs> All right. Good game. OTK Lee Sin, guys. Um. He's back. He's back. Now on ranked. <laughs> oh boy. Lee Sin. It, he, he's working very well with Targon. Okay, good game.